if you are a Spring Spring Boot developer, you must know that your Spring Boot does have a heart. Not this heart, I'm talking about this heart. So right from the day one, since Spring released, is very popular because it does have a container. And this container concepts works on a principle called IOC or inversion of control. But what does this mean? As an enterprise label Java developer, we create a lot of objects. And trust me, managing them is very difficult. But what about there is a framework in the market which says, hey, Java developer, you don't have to create objects. I will do it for you. And don't worry, I'll manage all your objects. So whenever you need an object, you just ask me. I'll give you that object. Well, that's why Spring Container is very, very popular. It's basically the inverse process. Instead of the developer creating object, it's the framework which will create the object and will supply that object to the developer whenever they ask. For a real-time scenario, think about this employee object, which does have a lot of properties or dependencies. So as a developer, if you're gonna create this object and gonna set all the dependencies that we have inside it, this is going to be a very tedious process. And there where the Spring Framework kicks in, it's gonna create this object, set all the dependencies, and I'm gonna give you the object. So you can take this object and use it for whatever purpose. For an example, calling a method inside an employee class. So now think, just like the employee object, we might have so many objects inside our application and Spring Framework is going to manage all these objects for you and gonna make your job easy as a developer. But now there is a good news and there is a bad news. The good news is, as a Spring Boot developer, you don't have to create this container. Whenever you wish to a Spring Boot application, this container gets created automatically. But the bad Bad news is whenever you go to an Spring Boot interview, they will ask about what kind of containers that you have used. What are different types of Spring containers that you know? If you know any of them, let me know in the comments or else watch this linked video.